We are here today to test out the new carnival. This is the media drive. I'll fill you in as much as I can. So let's go. Our car for today, Pantera Metal, it says. Looks grey black to me. Welcome to the carnival. Empty your seats. There's a plush inside. Alright, so what does it feel like to drive? It's comfortable, it's got good dampening, considering that it's just a Good old uh, spring and sober setup. Uh, yes, uh, on the highway anyway, during those long corners, it does feel a bit hollowy, nothing to be concerned about. You just will feel relief. But generally, I just feel like it's a really nice drive, it's comfortable, and um, the powertrain is just enough power. The, the gearbox is very, um, how do I say, very quick to drop gears to, to give you more power. So, yeah, I mean, the power is. So good, so far, so good. So, when you're not driving, what's life like in the carnival? Uh, good example there. <laughs> Comfortable. I mean, okay, so if you're in the co pilot seat, this is what you're gonna see. Very, very nice front part of the interior hey, it's got wireless charging eh? perfect everything if you have your Android Auto Apple Pay you can just connect and press these things here but we've just connected it to Bluetooth so for those who just prefer to connect it to Bluetooth it's fine this dial is nice very Land Rover Jaguar-esque <laughs> there's some cup holders here good cup holders here and uh, the seating position is quite comfortable. It just feels really premium inside now. I mean, just check out the stereo. Okay, not that stereo, the snoring, but. Oh, no, uh, finished. All that way. That's bad. Quite good bass, you know. So you definitely feel kitted up with some good speakers around. family trip right this is what it's about actually it's quite quite refined quite refined in this car and it's just quiet you don't really hear the diesel engine and um, yeah this is gonna be a good product just come out of some back roads and it, it manages to handle all those um, uneven roads quite well but it is quite bumpy but all in all it's still a comfortable MPV and Something that you would appreciate, you know, if you go back fest uh, during the festive seasons and you don't have to use the back road, so it's okay, it's okay. And uh, how about the third road? Come on, right? It is a bit stiff back here in the third row, but we'll have to do, I guess. Oh, by the way, there's another row back here. It's just hidden and folded if you don't wish to use it. Okay, the side seats are definitely more comfortable. The, the, the middle one, the jump seats, they're a bit stiff. <laughs> Here we are at the carnival at our rest stop. 
there's a few parked there all the colors are here so yeah there's only going to be one variant of the carnival available but it's okay you can just choose the color and you know it's quite individualized i guess um so there's a lot of things about the carnival that's interesting i mean check these out so these are not fake apparently it uh, helps to reduce the noise inside the cabin where air goes through and you know instead of it just going over so that's why it's really really quiet inside i'm sure kia wanted to make the carnival really really quiet and it is it doesn't really feel like you're driving a diesel van so van i mean mpv but, so yeah it's, it's quite refined it feels quite plush i mean as far as I've, I've tried all rows of this seat obviously the front and the middle is the most comfortable but the third row isn't bad it's slightly smaller but you know it's it'll do um you know especially when you need to take a lot of um, family members around and, and things like that <sighs> what do i think this over uh, one of those regular other mpvs that you always see in the road i'd have this i'd like the security of uh, having more seats you know yes you you might not need them all but you just it's a people carrier you want to carry people your family your whole family as much as you can as the look goes i think it's a very handsome mpv i mean just look at it any color it still looks really really nice and it's got a lot of unique features like it through a touch of a button you can open all doors and that might come in handy when you are uh, you know at a shopping mall or whatever and you need to get everyone loaded up quite quickly i mean they've thought it out it's really really well thought out road handling wise is good it does lean a little bit but that's about it really there's i don't really find any complaints about the car so yeah this is probably where it is most crucial for this mpv um the rear seats yes so this is the second row this is the third row and there's a fourth row at the back that we folded away let me just show you So yeah, it's tucked away in there and all you have to do is just pull this and it comes out. The fourth row up, there's no space for it, nada. Without the fourth row, no space. As you can see, the second row, yes, that's a, there's a lot of space. And the third row, this is the, this is the furthest back the second row seats can go. And is the kind of space you can expect from the third row so yes it is quite spacious and but the seats are really small compared to the second rows it's just slightly bigger here but you know it'll do i mean i had no complaints i was practically nodding off sitting there at the back just now so yeah these jump seats can be folded like this one and you can access the third row i mean at the business end of this car you know where all the driving happens it is a very nice place to be in and you know daddies mummies you will be really really happy with this it does feel very very premium inside this feels very very modern and crisp and premium and i just particularly like this really huge screen i mean like i said once you have all your phones connected because this one's got android auto and apple carplay and you know you can click all of these and be working if you don't have that you have bluetooth so yeah I'll tell you what though one of the most important things for me about a car family car is air conditioning and it has plenty of it all in the roof and it's really cold and you don't have to put it on like uh, to the maximum so it can be really quiet in the cabin best thing i like about this mpv is that it doesn't really look like an mpv it just looks more like an suv really i mean just try imagining it look at that look at the back end it just looks like an suv the front looks like an suv yes this is subjective and some people say it still looks like an mpv but probably one of the best looking mpvs in the market 
also uh, I really like that you know you, it's, it's affordable it's, it's, it's not like going past like 200,000 ringgit and to me that's value for money yeah, you know, I've always found that like six-seater MPVs don't really fit. You know, I have to carry two kids and uh, my parents and maybe my sister sometimes. So this is absolutely perfect. A seven-seater might be a bit squished. So this, you can probably take your whole family around the whole of Malaysia for your holidays. Till next time, thank you.